Next place we're going to show you is uh, the private chapel of uh, the ever-powerful Caracciolo family. Plenty of uh, other funeral monuments here. Plenty of uh, exquisite low reliefs. And an incredible dome. I called it the perfect circle. There are many quirky little details. Um, the Caracciolo family was uh, notoriously linked to masonry. And uh, here we have um, an elephant on uh, the helmet of uh, this uh, knight. The statue of uh, St. John the Baptist was missing. It had been stolen. But uh, the Carabinieri uh, and the Italian police are very good at retrieving artwork. Hope I won't make you dizzy, but I'll uh, give you a quick spin round. Greek uh, mythology, Roman mythology is always uh, present, so here we have a couple of uh, satires acting as uh, the legs of a funeral monument. This is uh, that most Christian, most Catholic of uh, shepherds, uh, St. John the Baptist. This uh, chapel used to host uh, a great nativity scene, that uh, is now kept at uh, the Museum of San Martino. It's a hand-painted tile, so it used to fill in uh, the gaps left um, from uh, deterioration of uh, the floors of the church. This is uh, the typical uh, Neapolitan Santa Chiara style. Tourists uh, who come to the Naples area rave about uh, hand-painted uh, ceramics uh, from Viedri, but actually the original designs uh, um, in many cases come from Naples. And uh, they were perfected in the masterpiece, uh, which is the cloister of Santa Chiara Church. This is uh, one of uh, three cloisters uh, connected to the church uh, and uh, again it's uh, badly in need of uh, restoration and it is not yet open to the public. So please come and visit the church, put the pressure on and encourage uh, the state to restore it because we want to see it. This is uh, the Madonna of uh, Rosary and uh, she's uh, very richly dressed. Beautiful uh, golden uh, crown uh, studded with uh, precious stones. The angels are giving her flowers, roses, rosaries, and the angels are also uh, richly dressed. This is um, another painting of uh, the Madonna. Uh, praying for the souls uh, trapped in uh, that strange place, purgatory. A place uh, kind of in between hell and paradise. Uh, another chapel, uh, yet another funeral uh, monument, uh, this time from the 1700s. So you can see how the colors in the marble has changed, becoming uh, more uh, Baroque in style. Clearly, uh, Ludovica told me uh, this is the tomb of a pirate. Uh, Saint John the Baptist looking uh, over an angel announcing Immaculate Conception. I'm not 100% sure about the sex, but uh, the angel looks uh, definitely female to me. This uh, chapel uh, was uh, pillaged uh, in uh, the 1980s uh, after a terrible earthquake in Naples, so it is now closed, completely emptied of its treasures. 
but um, it would definitely be the ideal haunt for Dracula. This is the kind of place where vampires sleep at night, or rather, sleep during the daytime. Yet another funeral uh, monument uh, here, accessing uh, the last uh, chapel of a church. The chapel is uh, heavily decorated. Every inch is covered in decor. On the ceiling we have uh, the symbol of uh, the Holy Ghost the eye of God, the cross, and uh, obviously the Holy Mary. Though uh, the author is uh, unknown, uh, we can say uh, these uh, paintings are again uh, mannerist uh, paintings. The contours of uh, the bodies are very accurately drawn. Uh, there is a study of the anatomy of the bodies, although their poses are somewhat theatrical and distorted. This is uh, the assumption of uh, the Holy Mary to heaven. Is, uh, another cycle of uh, very ancient frescoes and uh, interestingly here we can see a monk operating some kind of exorcism and the monks uh, snatching uh, souls from hell we're gonna say goodbye to the church for the moment and we're gonna go and have a look at the gardens of the church that are very peaceful indeed <laughs> 